Today we are looking at the Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro. So maybe because I work in offices and so forth a lot, I always like a good briefcase. And a good briefcase in our world is hard to find. Most, most of the products are backpack style. So when I discovered this, I was so eager to try it out. And there, this is a wonderful briefcase. As you can see, it stands on its own. A couple of things that really make this great is that the design, it's fully zippered open, but it has these wings on the side so that it never completely flop open and stuff will not fall out. And secondly, for me at least, a briefcase, I usually carry it either over the shoulder with straps and this, that cool, nice little handle, they can be hidden or I carry it this way. Not often I need to use it in a backpack mode, but when I do, the backpack straps are easily assembled. And if you don't use it, they're easily put away. You can't even tell that they're there. So those are definitely my top three favorite. Uh, let's talk spec quickly. This is a 15 liter bag. The size is 16 and a half inches wide, 12.2 deep, and 4.7 uh, inches uh, deep, I guess. The fabric is interesting. This is called Aeroflux recycled fabric. Um, so it's some kind of recycled nylon that is unique, I guess, to alpaca. This is a 600D material. It feels pretty good. It's a little bit rough in the sense that it has some texture, um, which I think it will wear well. It's hard to see on camera, but the weave is, is very, very fine, but there's a pattern to it. And then the inside, it is their standard um, Ripstock 300D with that light gray hexagon um, look to it, which you'll see when I show you the inside. So let me show you the internal organization. So the bag stand on its own, which is great. And even better is the wings on the side basically keep everything in. So I open this zipper full to get into the internals and the back is still standing, nothing is falling out. Now at the back, the laptop compartment fits a 16 inch MacBook Pro. So this is my very large MacBook Pro. I often use a 14 inch as well. So 14 inch obviously fits even uh, nicer in there. The laptop compartment is padded on the back wall and then the front wall, it's reasonably thick, but it's not padded. And then there's a, another thin layer of fabric in the front. This makes a good document or a um, tablet sleeves as well. The compartment is suspended, but not by a lot. So the bottom of it, again, is thinly padded, but then it's kind of touching the bottom of the bag and the bottom of the bag is not padded. So I would say the laptop protection is not amazing, but I think it's good enough for such a small bag. And then the front has two pockets going all the way down. And I love these because they are just the right size for things like pouches. So these, this pouch contains all my charging brick and cable. So that makes sense. And the other one, I always put my mouse there. So basically computer, mouse, charger, that is the electronic part of my carry. And then I also have a notebook. You know, a thicker book will fit as well as you can see, but it's great for analog device in the middle. A regular water bottle will not fit. Um, I tried to put my 20 ounce Yeti in there. Even I put it in the middle, which is I guess where most volume can be found. It just doesn't fit. But if you have something flat like this, I love these guys, by the way. These are very, very inexpensive from Muji. Um, they are great. So small water bottle certainly fits. And that is the open space in the middle. And you can put, you know, maybe small uh, jackets in there as well. And obviously books and papers. There is this pocket in the front wall. It's zippered. I don't find this very, very useful because I have everything I need in the middle. Usually, here you go, I throw my wallet in there just because it's a little bit safer. And then on the back wall, this is fun. There are these small pockets and they're very, very shallow, 
right? That's a depth of it. So they're great for SD cards, AirTag, and I'm not sure what else. Uh, an AirPods case would not fit in there because it's too shallow. But this again, I guess is for keeping maybe passport, if you're traveling in there, that'll be a good place for it. And this bag, while it is a good everyday carry briefcase, obviously, it actually makes a pretty good flight bag as well. Now let's go on to the outside. I'm gonna zip this up. The front compartment has a tiny bit of volume if you look at it. And not a lot, but a tiny bit. So it's good for me to put quick access items in there. So this is my kind of micro EDC kit. And then there are two pockets. They're not all the way to the bottom, but they're pretty deep. Uh, on this one, I have my keys. On the other one, I have my AirPods. And then there are two pretty good sized pen slot. You know, I like it when the pen slots are big enough because sometimes, you know, you have thicker Sharpies and the regular pen obviously fit in there very well. This being alpaca, of course, they have a key leash that has a magnetic um, attachment as well. I don't really use this because only, only because my keys are on my own system. So I don't really use it. This is my kind of complicated, but uh, very useful key set. So that is the front pocket. But of course, there is more. The handle comes out of these spaces. They are actually quick access pockets. That's one in the front, one in the back, and they have magnetic closure. So you can hear it. So they're great for even quicker access item. You know, sometimes, honestly, I do throw my wallet in there uh, after I pay for something, I just want to quickly put it away. That works, and you can see it's pretty deep, so it's not like it's gonna really fall out. The other thing that you can fit in there is a phone. This is my iPhone 15 Max Pro, so it's the largest one. Um, it lengthwise, it just fits with a little bit of work, right? Again, it's pretty deep. It, it's very, very safe in there. In the front and back, and there's one more thing on the, and this actually took me a while to discover. On the front quick access, there is actually a separate compartment in there. Let me see this, right? So this pocket, it's truly hidden. You know, so it'd be great for emergency cash. It's pretty deep, but not very deep. So my wallet will not fit this way, but if I put it sideways, it actually fits in there quite well. So I love it when a uh, brand put in little features like that. So that is all the organization inside and outside. Now let me show you the carry option. So as I said, handle, this is very useful because this is a briefcase. You can stow these away in there for a cleaner look if you only want to use the straps. I usually leave them up because I like using handles, but let me leave them in there so that I can show you the rest easier. The shoulder strap, so this shoulder strap is interesting. It is very comfortable, well padded, but it's flat. If you probably know on some of the sling, they have a, a pad that has little geometric shapes on it. That, it's a really cool design. I think it increases airflow. But in this case, I like the smaller, flatter design because if you want to throw, uh, put this away, this is easier to put away. And these guys are hooked on to these tabs on the side. Let me just take this one off to show you. So here's a little pro tip. These clips, when you first look at it, you think to open and close it, you need to squeeze, right? And it's really hard to squeeze and try to get this thing out. That is not the case. All you need to do with this type of clips is you move the movable part back. And this is very easy. As you can see, I can use it with, do this with one finger. If you just move this back, it will release. And if you just move it back in, it will clip back in. 
So don't try to squeeze the plastic part. Just move this thing and it comes out. So I am going to uh, put this back because this is the most useful way to carry over the shoulder. But you can also put it into backpack mode if you need to. So with such a small bag, you don't at least I don't need it in backpack mode most of the time, but if I'm, if I'm traveling and this is my personal carry, sometimes I want to put this on my back so that I'm hands-free. So you open these zippers, these straps comes out, and you can tell it's the same kind of material design, same kind of clip on the end, and you just attach them to the sides, and then you have backpack. In fact, if you want, you can do it diagonally and then you can carry it as kind of a sling bag. So this is really good. And I like that these are so low profile. It goes back in here quite easily when you don't need them. You notice the space here. So this is the final surprise of this bag. Inside here, there is a zipper. And then if you open this, this becomes a luggage handle pass through. So they really have thought this out. You know, one of the reasons why I like this uh, briefcase so much or this Tech Brief Pro so much is there's so much functionality put into a relatively small bag. I mean, this is a 15 liter bag and the functions do not fight with each other. You don't have to use them all obviously, but as you need them, they kind of just come into use. So this is uh, one of my favorite tech, technical, um, in terms of features, small briefcase. Now, the other one obviously is uh, reviewed elsewhere, the Orbit Gear commuter briefcase. So wonderful, wonderful design, Alpaca Elements Tech Brief Pro. So let's end this by showing you on body carry and how it looks.